Hey foodies, welcome to Minu K. Today I'm going to make a very yummy children's snack, which of course we elders can also eat. This is called the potato and the paneer roll. For this I have 200 grams grated paneer, 3 to 4 boiled potatoes which have been finely mashed, bread crumbs to roll the roll, an egg to bind our potato and paneer roll. Along with this, I'll be using two spoons of cornstarch, some dry ingredients like salt, little bit of pepper, little bit of chaat masala, red chili according to taste. Here I have uh, mixed herbs. You can, you know, skip it off if you don't like that flavor of it, some green chilies. And here I have dry uh, coriander. If you wish to use fresh coriander, you can do that also. So let's get started with binding of our very yummy and delicious paneer and potato roll. So onto a large mixing bowl, I have added all my ingredients and to this we will also add a little bit of oil so that the binding is easy of our ingredients. So here I have prepared a fine dough of our combination of mixtures. I am going to let this rest for about 10 minutes and then start with the second preparation. So I have prepared my paneer and potato rolls and now I am going to refrigerate this for about half an hour and then we start with the third process. So it's over 10 minutes I have kept my uh, roll in the fridge and now I will start with the next process. So I will take one, drizzle a bit of breadcrumbs to it, nicely coating it into it and then dipping it into the egg mixture to bind our roll. So you can see I have coated my uh, rolls with egg and bread crumbs and now again I am going to be keeping them in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes more so that they become a little more tight and firm. So I have put the oil on the kadai and now I'll be gradually putting my paneer and potato rolls for frying. We will not over stuff it, we will do one by one and not change the sides immediately. Let it cook on one side for about half a second and then we flip the sides. So foodies, our very delicious paneer and potato rolls are ready. You can see how scrumptious they are looking. I have coated a few with the breadcrumbs and the egg mixture and a few I left without that. So I could you can see the difference between the two. But taste wise they all are very very delicious. So I hope you like this very quick and very easy children's kiddies recipe. Do try it for your children and I am sure they will give you a big thumbs up. So if you like this recipe, please share, please subscribe to Minuke and we will meet again with another very yummy and delicious recipe. Till then, you take care of yourself. Bye-bye.